Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal,
students over here, also our staff and faculty that we will and this being on summer vacation, I'm going to get back to work and I'm going to begin the process of, of forming another class of seminarians and, and of the lay students who become leaders within the discipline and also the other Eastern Catholic churches in the United States. And as we begin each time, it is a kind of special event. But this year is an extra special event because you know, it's the beginning of the year sense and a bittersweet moment of uh, we'd be very glad to see that uh, you know, Robert uh, Jones is going to be a few minutes or a day to the priesthood and to the priesthood. But it's also sad because his friends are here and he's had some four years with them and we'll be kind of the time of a party and this is what we also look forward to him you know, being a, a, a priest within the church. Coming on, he's the deacon of this sort of as I call it, the last ride of Eden Bob. <laughs> so it's a good, good, good move and going at with his foundation. And as we heard the gospel today, it is that story of the mustard seed. And, and, and Bob is kind of a smaller guy, but uh, he's also we expect that it's a little mustard seed as Jesus explained to the disciples. That was slain in his parables of the crowds, but the apostles and disciples who break down and explain to them the importance of, of you know, just to, to see a seed grow and become you know, a plant and eventually produce. And especially with the mustard seed, it's a tiny, almost microscopic little seed, but it grows into like a larger trees that are in, in the whole plant. You can see one of Enormous tree that does provide shade for the animals and also bears much fruit. And we know that even though he's a little guy, and he's going to produce great things and he's through his ministry, it will continue to expand and build upon uh, the, the work that is done here at St. Silvanthonius and during his past life at the church. It's all going to be long into that as he begins his ministry. And when I was a student, it was always a hopeful day that somebody was getting their name because there's the seminarians that are here, there's hope at the end of the tunnel that you will be our day to remind your, your lessons and all the information back. So let's pray that you will have a successful year. It will be the third year of the pandemic and we are in a hard by vaccination and, and national unity, unfortunately. That we're probably going to make it through the year, but it will be a, an event to just kind of soldier through whatever comes up. And after almost two years of this, I no longer predict what will happen. Because compared to the season, you can have a divine life of its own, and as soon as you figure out what to do, it seems to work around that. You know. But we have plans in place, and we hope that we will be safe through the coming year. And then we should be going in the process of starting another year of foundation and within the spirit of traditions of the church and also those lessons you've learned through the counseling courses and also through all of the theology that you're receiving in the scripture that you will get closer and closer to our Lord and God's Jesus Christ. So I thought we will be called greater role within the church, not, not for honor or dignity that we are into, but to be the servant of the servants. And it's always what is, um, no matter what role you're in, a bishop or a priest or a lay person, we all serve the needs of the people of God in all the things that we do. And the more that you learn, the more that you are skilled in working with people, the more able you are to be like that mustard tree, providing shelter, providing the fruits that will sustain our church into the next century. So it's good to be back here. It's good to be back here. It's good to be back here. But hopefully we'll be able to come in more frequently and be with you present during this time. But hopefully we'll get boosters, so we'll raise
blessing of the most holy and life creating spirit, by the blessing of the most reverend Metropolitan William, the pious deacon Robert is being promoted to the presbyterate. Most reverend Archbishop commands him. By the command of the Lord, the heavens for me, by the spirit of his mouth, all their Bless him, most reverend Archbishop. May the Lord bless him from Zion, and may he see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of his life. Pray for him, most reverend Archbishop. May the Holy Spirit come upon him, and may the power of the Most High come to shadow. Oh, holy martyrs, you have struggled. He was crucified by the other members of the Bible, and 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 the other members of
grant that he may live worthily in this honor of Prince Peter, given to him by your foreknowing power, for yours is the kingdom of the power and glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
living in the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, who is worshipped and glorified, he spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive to our Father and our Friar in peace. Mercy, peace, the sacrifice of grace.
inheritance in the kingdom of heaven, confidence in the kingdom of God, and of the foundation, and make this worthy of master, and make it with confidence to all the foundation of your calling and calling, the God of heaven, and say, Amen. Thank uh-huh. you. 
waters, the waters of the sea as in our Lord's skin. He is stories them, stories them as in a bottomless Lord, 
out your spirit that is on the day of Pentecost, your young men may see visions and your old men dream dreams, and that we may call upon your name to be saved. Today we thank you. We have partaken of your holy gifts and have received the heavenly spirit. For you are holy, and we give glory to you, to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal high priest, and for all holy will and my creative spirit, now and ever and forever.